Today I want to take a look at Power Apps and how to group toggle controls so that you only turn on one toggle at a time. Here we're looking at a SharePoint list, number of custom fields. In this list we have a couple of different toggle fields. They're all yes, no data type. So I created three of them, toggle one, two, and three. All are a yes, no data type. And the name of the list is test. Over here in Power Apps, I created a Power App from SharePoint using that to populate the schema, the data cards, and the forms. So we actually have three screens, three forms. The edit screen has the edit form. And inside of that, we can see toggle controls at the bottom here. The user experience that we're going for is to turn on a single toggle at a time. So if I turn on toggle two, it'll make one and three go off. If I turn on number three, one and two will go off. So no matter which one you enable, the other two will be switched into off. And that's something we can accomplish by using the event handlers. So when you turn on a control, disable the other two so that all three are in a grouping effectively. Now, how do we do that? In the data card for the toggle, we can locate the control for the toggle. So knowing that there's an outside data card and there's an inside control, we want to focus on the inside control and zoom in to the on check event. The on check event is the one that actually fires when we turn on the control. It will not fire when we turn it off. It doesn't fire during click. It only fires when the checked state is moving into true. So when you check it to turn it on, we need to go do an update and set the other controls to false. So what we're really looking at here, we'll zoom in a little more on the formula, is a patch command that will update the test data connection. That's our SharePoint list for where we're saving information. This item is essentially the current ID number for the record that we're editing. And here you have a JSON expression. And these are the values that we're setting. So what we're doing here is we're setting values, and there's two of them, false for toggle two and false for toggle three. This, the reset data card, is essentially a refresh for one of the controls, and then a refresh for the other control. Now because we're changing two different controls, toggle two, toggle three, we need to reset data cards 15 and 16. Interestingly enough, these pair together. So toggle two might be the SharePoint field name, but the GUI has data card value 15. Toggle three might be the SharePoint field, but the GUI has data card value 16. And those are things we wanna track where the GUI control name is paired to the SharePoint list. So here I'm editing the OnCheck event, but if I look on the right hand side, I can clearly see data card value 14 for the first guy. Going into the second data card, if I zoom in just to the control, I see data card value 15. And on the last one, looking at only the control, we have data card value 16. So now we can kind of name these GUI elements. And these are, these are the display names, right, for the front end on the Power App GUI, the graphical user interface. That's sort of what people are seeing. And then over here is more of the SharePoint list field names. What's the column for the storage? In the end, we put an on check event for each of the three, but they're named a little bit differently. So the on check for toggle two will make one and three go false, which are the ones before and after. And it'll refresh cards 14 and 16, which are the ones before and after. So we're really kind of you know, firing the event on a single control to both set the value and refresh the others in the grouping. This grouping has six, so you subtract your current item and you're down to four actions. Set a value, refresh, set a value, refresh. These four steps will take care of updating the other two toggle controls. So let's give it a test now that we've kind of seen some of the wiring and plumbing. 
Toggle one goes on, the other ones are shut off. Toggle two comes up, the other ones are shut off. Toggle three comes up, everybody else is shut off. Pretty cool stuff. So at no point can you have two enabled at the same time. Whenever you enable somebody, he'll turn off all of the others in the grouping. And that allows for kind of a choose one out of the group, but in a more touch UI, mobile, tablet friendly way, where you're flipping a toggle controls, but they effectively participate in a group. All done with the on check formula. Thanks for watching.